You know, I believe that the greatest medicine for the human body is a good sense of humor. It is absolute joy that you allow to happen inside of your mind and inside of your body. I tell you, it has power. It has power to heal you. It has power to mend your sores. It has power to cause a rehabilitation to happen in you in a quickened time. Today, I pray that you give yourself this gift. I pray that you thank God for joy and for laughter and for a happy heart. It says in Proverbs 17, verse 22, A merry heart doeth good like a medicine. Well, today you rise above anxiety and you rise above stress and you decide to live that way this entire week knowing that God is your steadfast source of joy. And you give your world a gift of your positive attitude. You view your world through eyes of joy. You appreciate all the children around you and their visions and their belief in wonder. And you become like a little child yourself. And you see visions of wonder in front of your eyes, even on things that you have seen many times over. How do you do it? Pray for it, and it will happen. You will value this week your family and your friends and your co-workers, for they express the joy and laughter that help you to hold a positive perspective. And you count your blessings. It is so very important. We're getting into that time of the season, and we'll soon be introducing to you our 2021 Gratitude to God calendar. And it is the most powerful thing we do because it helps to keep you in a feeling of joy, in a feeling of gratitude, in a feeling of thanksgiving. You know that God enriches your life. In the silence of prayer this week, I ask you to accept and give thanks for the good medicine of a happy heart. You are open to the joy that is all around you. You're not a cynical old person. And when I say cynical old person, you can be cynical and old at 18. No, you are open to the joy in all people around you and you become a part of that joy just as Jesus accepted and demonstrated goodwill at the wedding in Cana well you celebrate the joy that is within you and the joy that moves out into your life and the circumstances of your life you give thanks for the joy that God has placed in your heart. You make that your mission this week, and you make it your prayer, and it will come to pass, and you'll see it is a mighty, wonderful, magnificent week indeed.